Sorry about the poor audio quality. I don't really have access to a very good setup right now, but it's coming in the future, trust me. So the reason for this video is that I wanted to highlight the 1991 Kenner uh, Robin Hood Prince of Thieves line. <clears throat> Here recently I was able to cut a deal with a local guy to get all of the eight original figures. I uh, was not able to get uh, the vehicles, but hopefully those are coming later. So in the original eight lineup, you had two Robin Hood figures. You had one crossbow Robin Hood. Then you had the longbow Robin Hood. Azim. The Dark Warrior, just because they needed an extra bad guy, I guess. I don't know. Uh, Friar Tuck. Here is Will Scarlet. Little John. And the Sheriff of Nottingham. Now, What's interesting about these figures, to, to go into a little bit of history and really the, the DNA of where these came from, you have to look back at the, uh, uh, the DC Superpowers or the Kenner Superpowers uh, collection because there was so much kit bashing involved uh, between these two lines. And I'm going to try to try to find uh, some graphics to put up here uh, to show you. Um, I, I, I couldn't bring myself to take off the, uh, uh, the, the Walmart. Uh, labels on here and then really I didn't want to mess up the card because they've been on there so long and I don't know if it's transferring over the video very well uh, but these card backs are in ridiculously good condition like they just were pulled off the shelf at Walmart so anyway to uh, to go into the history um, looking at this figure right here of the crossbow Robin Hood um, this torso was actually taken directly from uh, the Green Arrow from the Superpowers line and also, if you look at the arm right there, it's also uh, the, it's it's the Green Arrow's bracer that he had that they just they just painted flesh tone right over the top of. The same thing with this figure here. If you were to take uh, the the cloth goods, uh, I guess it's supposed to be leather armor off of there. You'll you'll find the same torso from uh, the Green Arrow. Now. This one, the Sheriff of Nottingham, is, is pretty interesting as, as well. The head sculpt is actually ripped directly off of, I think it was a Robocop villain? I'm, I'll, I'll try to find a, a graphic uh, comparison for you. And also the torso was taken directly from uh, Lex Luthor from the Superpowers line as well. Little John here has a custom head sculpt. <clears throat> if you take the robe off of there, uh, you're gonna find that he actually has Batman's legs and uh, I can't remember where the torso came from exactly. I'll, I'll have to hopefully find another graphic for that. Okay, so that brings us to Will Scarlet. Um, another custom head sculpt on this, but if you, you take away the cloth goods um, jacket right here, you're gonna find Robin's torso. Um, and he's even got that karate chop right hand. Okay, so on to my personal favorite here. Um, the Friar Tuck figure. <laughs> if you were to open this and take the robe off of this figure, you're going to find the Gamorrean guard from Star Wars uh, Return of the Jedi underneath there. <laughs> and uh, they just, uh, they, they gave it uh, some flesh toned feet there and then made a custom head sculpt from it. Um, so in addition to that, if you look at the, uh, the vehicles and play sets, the, the Sherwood Forest play set, um, is actually just the Ewok village from Return of the Jedi as well. And then the battle wagon um, is also, it, it's an Ewok uh, fighting vehicle that was released for the line as well. And I'm going to have to do a little bit more research, but I think the other two, these, these battle stations here, um, are from Return of the Jedi. So, massive kit bash. Um, I, I, I don't know what the success of the overall line was. I know that my brother and I absolutely loved these figures uh, when we were kids. Um, we got a ton of play value out of them. And I think once uh, we got tired of them, we actually started making our own customs out of it. I think, um, I think eventually it was either Little John here or, or this big guy. I think, it was, I think it was actually Little John on here. We did a custom um, Hagger from Final Fight, uh, really cool arcade and uh, Super Nintendo 
uh, beat them up. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video now. Hopefully in the near future, we can get some more of these older lines that we can delve into the history of. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, that always helps the channel. And until next time.